in case of integration substitution is not magic it's simply pattern recognition now what i observe in this integral is that we have sin x plus cos x in the numerator now somehow if i create cos x minus sin x in the denominator then by taking derivative of this i get negative of exactly the numerator of the integral but how do i create cos x minus sin x in the denominator when i have only sin 2x in the denominator now if i take cos x minus sin x whole square that will give us cos square x plus sin square x minus 2 sin x cos x which is simply sin 2x so this is cos square x plus sin square x which is 1 by the basic trigonometric identity 1 minus sin 2x now i have created sin 2x in this term but there is 1 minus sin 2x while in the integral i have only sin 2x in the denominator inside the root now what i'm going to do it i'm going to subtract this expression from 1 so when i subtract this from 1 i get 1 minus 1 plus sin 2x so 1 and 1 is cancelled this is simply sin 2x and its value is 1 minus cos x minus sin x whole square now the substitution appears to be strange but it makes the integral collapse beautifully so when we substitute the value of denominator we get square root of 1 minus cos x minus sin x whole square and let's put cos x minus sin x is equal to t so on differentiating both sides with respect to x we get negative of the numerator dx is equal to dt so let's substitute the values this becomes negative dt divided by 1 minus t square now this is standard integral for sin inverse t so this becomes negative sin inverse t plus c on back substituting the value of t we get negative sin inverse and its angle is cos x minus sin x plus c which is the final answer